The addiction issues in Kensington are well documented, but we're often left with the question, what can we do about it? Yeah, two local photographers are using their gifts to try to raise awareness and funds for those in need. Be aware that some of the pictures in this next story may be hard to watch. Here's our Bill Anderson. It just doesn't feel comfortable for me to continue to drive through this area, walk through this area, catch the train past this area, and do nothing about it. Show people what it really looks like down here because I feel like the city ignores this part of the city. This part of the city needs help. To know about the addiction issues impacting parts of Kensington, that's one thing. But to see it, that's different. Like, my gift is photography, and that's the way I, I'm able to tell a story, so I, I just couldn't ignore it anymore. Alan Ali and Corey Harrison have been documenting life on the streets of Kensington. They're photographers by trade, but this is personal. For me, my uh, little cousin passed away two years ago from an overdose of uh, fentanyl, so it kind of hit hit home for me. I see my family members deal with addiction and um, the whole opioid crisis, and I feel as though we walk past it, we ignore it way too often. Initially, it was just about building awareness, but as they spoke to people and took their pictures, people encouraged them to try and initiate real change. Photography as a medium, like, it's revolutionary in, in and of itself. Uh, the civil rights movement owes itself to the, the image of Emmett Till. And it's the same for many problems all around the world. So now they've moved from just sharing the pictures on social media to using them as a means to raise funds. Me just putting my photography and my art together to try to help somebody, that's basically all I'm trying to do. I started small, $100, and, you know, I saw I got that. Then I went to $200, and then I was just hoping that, you know, we can take this to another level. Any money raised goes directly to local addiction programs, and they know it's a small gesture, but it's these small collective steps that can make a real difference. It's heartbreaking when you hear someone say to you, we have enough money to send people to space, we have enough, enough money to build bombs, you know, but we ignore this. But they believe that we don't have to. We can each make a difference, for goodness sake. I'm Bill Anderson. And if you would like to donate to their cause, you can find the link on fox29.com.